we're going to do is we're going to unbox Steve's custom Kydex holsters. What he did was he sent it to me for a product review and we're going to open it up and see and take a look at it, see how it fits. What he did was he sent me an inside waistband holster for a 320 and he sent me an outside the waistband holster for a 320X5. All right. So Steve is part of your first responders group and this is making holsters is his passion and uh, his side job. I got these pretty quickly. Um, he talked to me while I was actually on vacation and they still got them to me in a, in a very reasonable time for something custom like this. What I'm doing with the holsters that Steve has sent me is I'm going to be setting up a new limiter, limited rig. So recently, up until recently, I've been shooting nothing but production in USPSA. Production basically has a few different rules, but the primary ones are it's basically got to be stock. Uh, can't remember the magazine length. It's like 120 millimeters. Um, no stippling way up high or anything like this. It's got to meet within a few grams of the stock weight and you can change the sights. Mine has a, a, a Springer extended mag release which meets the factory profile and um, just some uh, Springer grip tape on the, the, the grip. But other than that, it's a stock gun that you can buy right off the shelf. The flat trigger here um, is legal now because the X5 comes stock with it. Then I ended up picking up uh, SIG 320X5. SIG 320X5, and this is going to be for limited. You see the magwell on this one, which is one of the major differences in between production and stock. Um, you can add some weight to it, so I'm going to be, going to be getting a tungsten guide rod. Uh, and I'm going to be tuning the springs a little bit to, do, to shoot 147 load uh, in 9mm. Right now, um, I've been shooting 124 and everything. So one of the things I want you guys to do in the comments below is I want to know what gun you guys are shooting. These are mine. These, these are my competition guns. Okay? This is usually my backup or my daughter's backup. And this is now my primary gun. It's just so nice. <laughs> the X5. I really like the grip. I really like everything that they did with this gun. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, like I said, I'm going to be making a limited rig. One of the things I wanted to show you guys is my production rig for USPSA. This has been my production rig. What you see here is I've got a Comtac holster for the X5. I've got a Springer drop mount. This is a Black Scorpion Outdoor Gear belt. And then on this side, I've got ghost, ghost holsters for the, the magazines. And on the back side, I've got a Blade Tech one. The Blade Tech one is easy on off, so it comes on and off pretty easily. And during production, I always have five mags and one's my load mag all the way in the back. I'm probably going to be taking this off um, for my limited rig, and I'm going to be angling these. I'm going to get more of them, but I'm going get, to be getting the same exact ones. So what you see here is basically a holster that I've been using for better part, or uh, holster and belt and mag pouches for better part of a year and a half, almost two years. And I like this so much, I got the exact same belt. I'm just going to have two different, two of the same belt. Uh, let's see. One of the things I wanted to point out is, open this brand new Thanks to my friend Luigi down there in South Florida Pistol Club. Is here's the belt. Okay, this is your typical competition belt. Mine is one and a half. It's got an inner belt, which you can see right here. This is your inner belt, and it runs through your normal loops in your pants. Then you've got an outer belt, which is what you see right here. You can see, after a year and a half of use, 
slightly dirty, as it should be. I've, I did a, a, a competition at Doc Welts uh, at the Wyoming Antelope Club called Doc Welts, and I dove inside a sand pit and got covered in water, sprayed with a hose, and uh, it's a memorial match for a fallen um, Navy SEAL who came down with a disease, and all the proceeds go towards the juniors. And considering I have a small army of juniors in the shooting clinic, I really, it's one of the ones I make sure I go to and I make sure I support. So thanks to Wyoming Antelope Club. Anyways, filthy, sure, got it. But it's reinforced, and I've been using it for a year, year and a half. The actual inner belt, I pretty much use every day, and that's what we're going to be using to put the inside the waistband holster on, and obviously I'm wearing my shirt, and we're going to see kind of what it looks like from there. So anyways, to get on with this, we're going to start pulling everything out that came right out of the bag. You saw me cut it open. I'm going to jump over here to Facebook Live and see. Let's see. Uh, Jeremy, Sig X5 match, I, I plan on getting one eventually. They are um, coming out with a lot more. You'll see mine is actually the first gen. One, I have a silver barrel, the newer ones come with a black barrel, and I think they've done something with the spring. There was a little bit of a, a lockup issue. If you rode it forward, you can see right there, it's not completely in the breech. But if you rack it as you should, let the spring do the work, there's not an issue at all. Um, let's see. Uh, Kenny, MMP 2.0 is all you have and all you need. Very awesome gun. Uh, Brett, here's the bubble wrap for the X5s. I don't plan on dropping them or throwing them at a 45 degree angle for them to go off, nor do I probably plan on sending them in either. I have had nothing but greatness with these. All right, so here's the, here's the holsters. Let's see. Like I said, if you guys can hear me, give me a thumbs up, give me a wow face. Um, let me know where you guys are, are, are uh, tuning in at. I actually do come back to these comments after our live feeds and I keep answering stuff. One of the things we're going to be doing at the end of this live feed is talking about a giveaway that Steve's Custom Holsters is going to be doing. God, he bubble wrapping is pretty good. Medical scissors work well. Flowers, awesome. Flowers in this box. Alright, so one of Steve's specialties is doing a dual layer kydex, which you can see right here. So what I did was I had him go ahead and make me a full size 320 inside the waistband with red carbon fiber. And what I'm going to be doing is running my 320, and I'm probably going to get a carry version. Carry version is the compact slide and barrel with a full-size frame. I don't want to have different kinds of magazines laying around the house. So with that, if I get the longer one, it'll still fit in because it's the retention is built in to the finger guard. Okay. So, let me minimize this. Oh, Kenny's from New Jersey. That's where I was born. I was born in Summit, New Jersey. All right. So right out the gate, I can tell you by just looking at this, and I have a machining background. I have a welding background. I ran my own machine shop for a while. I'm currently active duty military though. Um, I can already tell you that this is formed 
extremely nicely. Even the edges. I don't know if you can see the edges in the camera. All of them are rounded off and polished. Where you got no snags. You're going to be wearing this. You've got a high rise here. So here we're going to just go for the fitment on this one. This one was only made for the, the 320 uh, full size. The X5 is actually uh, 0.3 inches longer. This is a 4.7 inch and the uh, X5 is 5 inches long. So right out of the, right out of the box, fits like a glove. Obviously, he builds retention screws into it, so you can adjust it to be lighter or looser as you need. Up on this side, you can see how high it goes up. And the number one thing you want in every trigger, or I'm um, sorry, uh, every holster, is covering the trigger guard completely. That's a huge issue with all the competitions you shoot. Um, like I said in the comments, I want to know if you guys shoot any sports. Part of USPSA rules is you can kind of have whatever holster you have as long as it's safe, but the number one rule is it has to cover the trigger guard completely, which you can see right here, it completely does. Not an issue whatsoever. Okay. I really like that red carbon fiber completely. Like, if you can't tell, I like red a lot. Um, so like I said, if you guys shoot IDPA, I want to hear it in the comments. If you shoot USPSA, I want to hear it. Um, GSSF is another one. Three gun is one of the things I'm starting to get into personally. I haven't gotten all the, all the rig and everything like that. It's a little bit different of a style of shooting. Um, I'm practicing a few things. I got my shotgun finally. Um, but if you guys don't shoot any competition, I highly suggest you go out there and try it. You're not going to win a Cadillac, but you're going to get faster. You're going to get better. You're going to see 13, 14 year old kids beating you because they've trained on how to take repeat shots and do things like shoot the notch or um, move mag reloads on the move. So let me hear in the comments below if you guys actually do shoot a sport. So I'm probably going to loosen this up because like I said, it's going to be pushing up against my body. I'm not going to use the, the sandpaper grip. Uh, I have another grip module over there. Um, so as for that goes, I'm actually going to mount this up real quick. So, as you know, in Florida, printing is not illegal, but I'd rather be a, like a fart, silent but deadly. And with your arm to the side, and this is a thin shirt. This is my tech wear shirt that I use in the competitions and stuff like this. It's super thin, but that's kind of what I wanted to show was even with a super thin shirt, you'd really have to be looking and paying attention to it. that in. Oh. All right. You can, I don't know if you can hear that very well, but you can hear how solid that actually fits right in. So that's, the, that's a great amount of retention. And um, yes, I have four kids who shoot. Try to take that off real quick. I have four kids who shoot. I have a fifth one who is actually one years old, so I actually carry him quite often. And having something sturdy like that where I can bend down, pick him up, bend down, and play with him, and still maintain good retention is very important. So this is exactly what I was looking for and what I was exactly looking to replace my old holster. Okay. Just to point out one more thing, it's got Allen screws right there um, for the retention, and it's got cushions on the inside to keep it perfect. I actually have a my old holster 
actually fell apart because it didn't have these in that part. So really nice holster. Really glad to have it. The quality all the way around is exactly what I'm looking for. You can see a lot of other types of holsters that you can tell they're not pressed or sandwiched right and it it's a big issue okay um, even the rib down the center here I have on this one I have Dawson uh, fiber optic sights and there's not an issue at all with them sliding in there's plenty of room so whatever kind of sights you actually do have this will fit fine and have good retention so so before I get into the, oh, that's not gonna stand up. Before I get into the competition holster, 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 uh, which is the bread and butter of this entire live feed, I'm gonna show you some of the other ones that I've used in the past. So what we have here is the Comtac. Okay, Comtac is one of the ones I used for over a year. You can see some wear on the inside. This one comes with three retention screws. Um, it comes with a number of different ways to attach it to your belt. And overall, I enjoyed the holster. I have no complaints over it what, what, whatsoever at all. It fit well. It gave me lots of good retention. You can hear it engage, covers a trigger guard. And one of the reasons why I'm bringing out some of the other holsters is this is a huge brand, okay? You can see between the two of them that the quality is pretty much equal, okay? That's huge to, to look at um, because it shows Steve is not just putting out some random product that he doesn't he didn't do his homework on. You know this is a this is Comtech is a massive company. And then from there I'm gonna show you the Blade Tech one. Same thing. Here's Blade Tech. Put this over here. Okay. Here's Blade Tech again. Okay. Blade Tech has the two screws, Phillips head, which yeah, you know, it may be personal preference that I actually enjoy. Allen head because they don't strip out as much but that's just me so this one I don't know if this is a 34 holster I actually don't think it is yeah this is 17 holster no 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 it's a 34 holster all right um, so there's your 34 holster, covering the trigger guard again. You can see the form, much like you can see in Steve's right here. They're running two different ones, a little bit more peaky, right in the, the um, sight channel. So whether that's going to cause an issue with the way you carry or... Um, if it's going to be inside the waistband, I personally would like as many rounder edges as I can. Okay? But, same thing. Same thing. Look at the quality. Blade Tech is... If you if you haven't heard Blade Tech or Comtac, you probably aren't shooting that much. Or you're probably not in the, the shooting industry too much. Which is fine. But those are the two... That's number one and number two right there. And you can see the similarities between the two. Um, Steve's edges are a lot... Like, these things are like mirror polished on the, on the edges here. That's impressive. Um, but nonetheless, you can see the quality between the two of them. So here, we're going to break out this other one. One of the things that Steve does is he, he sends it with Ben Stoger, Ben Steger. I never know how to say his last name. Um, his boss hanger, boss holster hanger, which is, I use the Springer Precision most of the time. 
mostly because they come in red. But they allow you to cant the holster a little bit in either direction. So if you don't know much about these, maybe we could do a review later on about them. But they're they're super nice. They're mm -hmm. between uh, Springer Precision and the Boss Hanger. Uh, there's not many other ones out there that I would recommend. Okay, so packed packed like a, mm -hmm. a egg from the restaurant or the supermarket. All right, here we go. I'm trying not to stab myself. There's the other half for the boss hanger. So right out of the box, I can already tell you that this is going to meet every bit of my expectations. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's look over here. What do we got? Uh, Brett, nice looking holster. Yes, uh, I'm really pumped to use this on my limited rig. Uh, Frank joined. Uh, Moose, he's another local shooter, super cool guy. Uh, Mike Owens is down there. Good to see you guys. All right, let's see. So, if you're just tuning in, like I said, at the end of this broadcast, I'm going to be talking about a giveaway that me and Steve's custom holsters are going to be doing. Custom Kydex holsters. We're going to be doing. Um, but one of the things I want you to do is... In the comments, I want to hear what kind of holsters you have been running. Um, with that being said, whether it's Blade Tech, whether it's another custom brand, or whatever the deal is, there's there's a few other companies that have uh, been showing a lot of support to the industry. I want to hear what you actually are running. If it's not what I've been using, um, obviously, I've got my experience with a few holsters. Here's my son's. This was actually, I actually bought him a 17, which was his first gun, and I had to actually cut the bottom of this holster to fit the 34. Um, where's the 34? So you can see here where the 34 actually sticks out the bottom. It still covers the trigger guard, which is the number one rule, but. I had to cut the bottom of it to open it up because Blade Tech actually shrinks the bottom side of them. So that's why now I get them for the longest gun that fits the same thing. Because a few uh, little millimeters of length where I can carry anything or put anything in the slide is more important to me. So that's my son's rig. Same thing. He's got the Ghost, but he's got a Blade Tech holster on his with the Blade Tech drop holster. And then my daughter's, oh, here I come. My daughter's holster is purple. She's run the Black Scorpion belt too, which, which has the inner and outer plastic belt. She's got the white mag pouches, ghost ones also. Um, and then the Springer drop hanger too. I don't have my younger ones, my younger daughter, she has a pink belt from Black Scorpion. My uh, wife has a blue one, and my other son has a black one. He wants orange, but I'm gonna have to get with Steve and get him to make a orange one. He's got, the, the two younger ones have the Max Michelle 1911 uh, 45 size BB gun. And that's what they use. That's what they train with. They will shoot my guns. There's videos up on our link, up on our uh, Facebook. And there's also uh, videos on our YouTube page. You guys should go over there, check it out, subscribe. I put up videos all the time. There's a good video from the Pro-Am that we, uh, we did. Um, but nonetheless, moving on. All right. So big thing on the competition holsters is an easy way to loosen this. So one, one more reason why Steve has put a lot of thought into this. These things are extra. 
Um, because when you get ready to go up to the, uh, the shooting position and get ready to start, a lot of people will loosen these. So you have barely any retention on this. But what that means is when you come off, you tighten it up. This way your gun's definitely holstered and definitely safe. But any little, you're talking winning between a few thousandths of a second sometimes with points and whatnot. So having these screws here, these quick adjustable screws is great. One thing I would recommend though is to get some extra ones because sometimes you may forget and they slowly back out and you'll be in the middle of a match and lose one. You could probably run it just fine with one, um, but I would definitely highly suggest getting some extra ones and it's just, it, it, there's not much weight into them, just throw them in a the bag, not a big deal. So here we're going to go and test the fit of the X5. So with the, being the part of my limited belt, I wanted it opened up here because I'm going to have an optic on this at one point. I want to, I want to do carry optics, it just looks like fun, plain and simple. So we're going to go and put the fit. Super perfect fit, as you, as you would expect. So here we'll get a close up. Covering the trigger guard exactly how we want it. Opened up and beveled at the top. Polished corners all the way around. Obviously, I was messing with the retention, so you can make it as much as you want. And bring it all the way, even all the way out, it barely fell out. Like that was, when I say all the way out, like that is twisting. And we still got retention on it. I'm trying to hold it there. And if Brett had anything to say about it right now, he'd be saying make sure you bubble wrap it because you might drop it. Anyways. So I want to hear in the comments below what you guys actually think about Steve's holsters. Let me put this here down. Let's open this. If you are experienced with holsters, tell me what are some of the things that you like to see in your holsters. And if you aren't experienced in holsters, this is a good format for you to look at and make sure you're getting something good. So you're not going to have it going inside the trigger guard when you holster, a lot of the leather holsters have, have had an issue where once they get worn, they go inside the, the trigger guard and they depress the trigger. People have shot themselves from that. That's why the Kydex is definitely one of the better ways to go. Um, covering the full trigger guard. Covering all the way around, which is nice because some of the dirt that we, we shoot in, we make a... We make a it's an outdoor sport. What do you expect? It's going to get dirty. It's going to get gross. Things are going to happen. And to have that full surround here on the X5 is very nice. Opened up on the... So there's a thing called a scoop draw. This will aid in the scoop. This is obviously not like that. The scoop draw allows you... Once you break the holster... you can come straight out with it, okay? So that's going to aid in that. Um, let's see, and then we're going to put this one back in there. Put the two of them side by side for you guys. Obviously, Steve, customkydex.com has numerous different molds. You'll see them on, on a lot of the, the, the groups I run on Facebook. You'll see them posting and stuff like this. Um, I suggest you guys hit him up. He's got a new website. We're going to go over to it right there. SteveCustomKydex.com. He's uh, getting ready to load a bunch more pictures on there, and I'm helping him out with a few of the things on there and whatnot. It's got links to his Facebook. He's over there in North Carolina. Um, shoot him a message. It, obviously, I got these in red. Obviously, I like red. He can make them in any color you want. One of my buddies, Joey's, has one uh, black and teal. 
super nice. He's been using it for USPSA. Um, you can see a, a few pictures on his website of some of the other ones. There's a lot more pictures on his Facebook. One of the things I want you guys to go do, I want you to go and like. I want you to go check out his website and shoot him an email with any questions that you have. Uh, tell him what holsters you want. He's quick to respond. When I talk to him, it is very quickly. Here's his Facebook. Definitely go over there. Definitely like it. It's going to be part of the giveaway anyways. So you might want to do that. And here's HavocLegion.com. One of the things you're going to see on the Havoc Legion that you guys can check out is in the media section, there's a guns and gear and info. After tonight, I'm going to update it and I'm going to throw... All the information to Steve's custom Kydex on my page, uh, on my list of the things that I use. What we've got on this is we've got everything from our holsters to our belts to our sights, um, the ear protection, the glasses we use, everything that can help you. I had CC's, I had Little Caesar's pizza that make me burp right now. Um, anyways, the uh, everything for the kids all the way down to the mag bases and everything like this. After this live feed, I'm going to actually go in there and update it and put Steve's information on there if you guys can't find it. We're at HavocLegion.com, the family shooting team. It's also got some of our range gear in there. So, let me hit the comments real quick, see if there's anything going on. X5s don't drop when they're, uh, when they, uh, don't fire when they drop. Yes, you are completely correct. Uh, Moose uses uh, Red Hill Tactical and Blade Tech mainly. Uh, no one has had a SIG, SIG X5 holster right-handed. Here it is. Next time I see you at the range, you got you can put your fingers all over it. Um, I don't know how long Steve's been making these, but I know it hasn't been that long. He was waiting for the mold to get to it, and uh, pretty sure this is the first one he did make if I'm not mistaken. Wow. But, obviously that fits. There it is. It literally just slides right into position perfectly. That's Kydex is amazing. I don't know if any of you guys play with Kydex. I've gotten a few things um, to start playing with it myself just to make something out of it. But it is, it is a very cool product. And this is super thick, double layered. That is cool. I'm sorry, that's just the coolest thing I've ever seen. All right, so for those of you that have stuck around this entire time, I don't even know how long I've been talking and BSing and letting you guys actually see the background like a dummy. I had it facing the, the wrong way when I started the live feed, which is what, you know. Um, for the ones who have stayed, we are doing a giveaway. Steve, Steve, uh, steveskustomkydex.com. We are going to be giving away a holster of your choice. Okay, so what's that mean? Means inside, different gun, whatever you need, whatever you got, we're going to be giving away. We're gonna put the link up on Havoc Legion's Facebook. We're going to make a, a separate post for the giveaway. You're going to have to like Havoc Legion, obviously. You're going to have to like Steve's. And I'm going to check when we do the giveaway. And for the people that made comments or like this uh, video, you're going to get an extra raffle ticket into this. I'm going to give you a number on the post. I want you to tag someone that you know that might be looking for a holster or might be interested in some of the stuff I talked about on what makes a good holster and what makes uh, it legal for the competitions and what makes it worth what you actually spend for it instead of getting some uh, garbage holster that isn't safe, which is absolutely not what you want. Um, but yeah, tag someone. Tag someone who's interested in this or tag someone that you know that wants to win a free holster. Tag them below and 
we're going to issue everyone a number. In the post, it's going to in the the post on Facebook, it's going to say the uh, when we're going to do the giveaway, what the date is. I got to talk to Steve about it, um, see what his schedule is. But it should be here in the next uh, few weeks of when the giveaway is going to go, and we're going to do a uh, one of the random number drawing things. So when I if issue everyone a number, I'm going to go back and look at the uh, post from tonight's live episode and give you two numbers. Yes, they're going to be back to back, but it doesn't matter in that that random pick thing that you usually see on all these raffle groups. So. Last thing, in the comments below, I want to know what you guys think I should maybe review on next. Maybe the Boss Hanger compared to the Springer Hanger, which one I like more, if I do like either one more. Um, this was kind of our holster one. Uh, maybe Ear Pro. I have about 10 different kinds of Ear Pro that I use. I can do a review on that. I just want to hear in the comments below what you guys think I should do a review on and how well I did on this live feed, because I don't do them that often. And usually I do it with my kids, but I'm in Miami again, which my kids are in St. Pete. So like and subscribe, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go check out our website, HavocLegion.com. In that, you'll find links to our Instagram, which I'm pretty active on. Everything I post on Instagram goes to Twitter, so I'm not really active on Twitter too much. Um, and then our YouTube. YouTube, I'm hot and heavy with putting up videos, and then sometimes I kind of take a little bit of a break because the kids have school, and then I'll uh, uh, get back into putting a bunch of videos on it. Right now, the kids just got back into school, been in school for over a week. Ah, a little bit of freedom from the summertime, but um, you'll see a lot of videos on there too. I'd like to say I love you to my wife and my kids. See you guys at the range.